Hello Stamper, welcome to Frenchie's video. I'm France Martin, independent demonstrator with Stamping Up. And I was making a card for a block op and my words explaining thing are not the best. So I said, I'm gonna shoot a quick video. So it's a gated card. What we're gonna start with, it's a piece of cardstock, regular, just cut in half. It is eight and a half by five and a half. And then you score, you're gonna score at both uh, and at two and one eight. So it's the first little line after the two. So you're going to score there, turn it around and score there. You could score at two and one eight and then at two and three eight. But then this way, I always say two and one eight at each end. So then you just get one measurement to remember. So that's how I prepare this. And then the next step, I'm going to put the brick wall and that's where I was like, how am I going to explain that? So it is simple. What I've done, I pre, um, let me bring my scratchy paper here. I did, I embossed a piece of cardstock that it measured three and three quarter by five and a quarter. And the embossing folder you have to remember you can put it on two direction so you have to look at your card do you want it to go this way or this way well this time i want it on the long way so i want the brick to go this way because it would look funny if my brick would stack up well i took this piece of embossing um card uh, embossing um piece of cardstock and you see you get it go the indent go in and that's raised up. You want the side that it go in. And I took Sarah Sam. This is crumb cake, but the ink it's Sarah Sam and just the ink direct on it. And it looked kind of funny to be honest when it's wet. But wait, when it's dry, it won't be as dark. So I just gonna put, and even if you get some marble eyes and not even, that is perfectly fine. Cause when you look at the brick, that's the way it is. So we're gonna let this dry a bit and I know where I wanna put that one. So you would take um, that piece and then this here, you're going to cut at uh, 1 and 7, 8. It's weird number. It's because the way it's full, I want the same proportion. So your piece, it's at 3 and 3 quarter. I want to double check that, make sure. Yes, 3 and 3 quarter. So you're going to score, that, not score, but cut it at uh, 1 and 7, 8. After you're going to cut that I stamp and I'm going to show you I want that to dry a bit though so we're going to do the stamping after let's glue this together I'm going to show you I stamped the leaf from the silhouette summer silhouette okay this one it's on the right side it's because when you Fold this this way, you get that weird um, numbers. And I wanted the same proportion. So that's why the weird numbers. We're going to glue that there. One thing that I didn't do that we have to do, though, it's take your bone folder and really re-increase that fold. And inside, I just put a piece of cardstock. I'm going to put my grating in there. And this, it's four by five and a quarter. I'll make sure my leaf match. Then we're going to mount that here. So now you see I get the right proportion. So for the easel, now we want to keep that close. I took the new, I say the new, it's been a while now. Tongue is flying on us. That's a celebration set pedal pusher. The bike, I stamped that with memento ink because it's a photopolymer. I'm not a fan of a stays on with photopolymer. And this, I'm just going to put that right here. 
And I, this is on Bermuda base, and I use the oval collection. <coughs> Excuse me. And all the bike, I color it with the marker. And then the little bird, it's part of that set, and I use the Daffodil Delight. You just want to put on the left side uh, glue on just half of the part because you want to be able to open your card. So I'm going to put that. Uh, I want it a bit higher because I don't like to give a card and it keep on popping this way. That look kind of on the funny side there. Here we go. Now I use the botan botanical blooms, the the dyes, and I pre-cut that in um, Bermuda, Bermuda Bay and then uh, Hello Honey for the center. I'm going to put a dimensional in the back of this and you're going to see this is going to help this close. You're going to see, well, how oh, you're going to tuck it in and that. It keep it at least down a bit and then look, you just pop it and this now it's on dimensional so it's easy to put back there. See how simple that was? Okay, you see this got a lot lighter. Now let's use this stamp set here. This stamp set been uh, lots of love. I'm using Pure Pizzazz and it's still kind of damp. For some reason when you use the ink direct, that's the way it goes. I'm going to stamp um, the greenery here and there. That should be enough. Now we're going to get cut that part we're going to use that one too so we're going to cut that at one and seven eight so it's the same than the front now we're going to take this we're going to put snail in the back of this i just what they say bring the party inside that's what we're doing with this card we're going to bring the party inside Gonna lift this up here. Let's make sure. Yeah. Gonna put this right here. And then this right here. And then I get place for my greeting right in over here. I'm not sure what I want to put. I'm, I think I'm gonna put a happy birthday. But then when you close it, just lift the petal. Oops can lift my flower a little bit and voila my friend so this is it very simple again it's a regular piece of cardstock cut at half width so you would cut at five and a half so it's five and a half by eight and a half score at two and one eight flip it around two and one eight a voila my friend you get your lovely uh, gated card hope you enjoyed this video and um and this is going to be a blog op, so I hope you're going to take the time to come see the blog op at FrenchyStamps.com on March 11. Thank you and have a great day, my friends.